Okay, we're expanding on module six. It continues with you. We talked a little bit about you incorporated. And now we're going to go into lesson six and we're going to talk about talent and skills and how that fits into your exchange for capital. In this case, the exchange of financial capital. So what are the differences between talent and skills? Because there are. What's the usage and what's the compensation? Because they all tie together. There are differences that are unique, and then there is the usage of talent and skills, either in combination or singularly, and then there is a level of compensation that we all enjoy. Well, here's the deal with a talent. A talent is a natural aptitude or a skill. It's something that's fairly innate. It's something that over time you were kind of born with, it came natural, and you got better at it. Obviously, you could develop it higher in the form of a skill, but that's a talent. Sometimes you can't, you know, you can't create that. It's just, it, it happens. It is. Now, obviously, a talent's going to be a little more wealth-wise. It's going to be a little more valuable, a talent. Now, the ability to do something well or have expertise is a skill. Now, that ability and expertise is developed over time. It's something you polish up. Now, sometimes talent leads into a skill level and you keep developing it, but for the most part, they're separated. Now, talent is much more marketable, obviously, because talent's a higher level of skill. It's a natural ability. It's got a greater value, and it has independence built into it. Because you have talent, you can be totally independent. If you're a musician of great talent, guess what? You're at high demand. You're at way more demand than just a skilled musician. You're a talented musician. It's a big difference. Just ask the two musicians who's getting paid better. That leads to an entrepreneurial kind of mindset. Talent actually is in the entrepreneurial column. These are the people who have a natural skill level from talent, and they have a natural dependency that they want to go out and be independent. They don't want to be dependent on anybody else. They want to be independent. And they do so, and that makes them entrepreneurial. They take on risk. They grow. They build people, they build markets, they build businesses. They're just very entrepreneurial. Now, on the skills side, skills are marketable, but they're developed. Remember, it's a developed expertise, but they're dependent. They're usually very dependent. In other words, a skill usually gets traded for money. So that's, again, back to the trade time for money. If you're a tremendous typist and you can type 200 words a minute, I don't think anybody can, I don't know, but maybe, who knows, right? That basically is trading time for money. So there's a higher level of salary, there's a higher level of pay. However, it's an employment scenario and it's usually a, a, a scenario that makes you dependent because you traded time for money. There's no independence in that. So what should you focus on developing? Well, it's hard to say. Which matches your passion? Are you passionate about the talent that you were born with? Everybody has some level of talent for something. Many people are not passionate about it. I know a couple of very, very highly skilled musicians who went into the financial services field to be brokers, had no interest in music. Naturally gifted and talented, but no interest in music. And they went over and developed skills and decided to go into the financial markets. Nothing wrong with that. They had a passion for the financial markets. They didn't have a passion for their talent. So you need to find a way to match your passion. Not match your skill or your talent. You need to match your passion. And that's how you're going to gain financial independence, by recognizing and identifying, am I using my talent or my skill? Again, no one better than the other. However, if you're passionate and have talent, you have a faster pathway to wealth. If you are passionate and skilled, it just takes a little more effort and a little more work. But Ultimately, you'll get to the same destination. You need to decide what you're passionate about. I'll see you in the next lesson.